speed governor mechanism so this is a complete uh, structure of the speed governing mechanism the speed governor is the main primary tool for the load frequency control whether the machine is used alone to feed a smaller system or it is a part of the most elaborate arrangement so here we are talking about uh, load frequency control as the load varies the speed changes and the speed is directly proportional to frequency so the frequency gets affected so this load frequency control is much needed in the power system operation and control in case of real power frequency control so this speed governor arrangement plays a very important role in this load frequency control so by controlling the position of the control valve where the steam is getting in to the turbine so if you control this valve we can exert control over the flow of high pressure steam through the turbine thereby we can control the speed of the turbine so that the frequency also get controlled the main components in the speed governing mechanism are the speed changer so here is a speed changer second one the flyball speed governor arrangement third one the hydraulic amplifier setup and fourth one the linkage mechanism this one a b c d and e this forms a linkage mechanism so the overall system we call it as a speed governing mechanism so now let's see the components one by one so speed changer so this speed changer it provides the facility to set up the turbine output at a desired level so its uh, downward movements opens the control valve so that more steam can be admitted to the turbine under steady state condition if uh, this speed changer gives the rise command this valve get open more steam enter into the turbine and the speed increases and in the upper moment the control valve starts to close so that minimum amount of steam is enter into the turbine so that the speed get reduced second one flyball speed governor so it is a mechanical speed sensitive device it senses the speed changes and moves through the linkage point b so this is a heart of the system which senses the change in speed it looks like this so there are two fly balls so as the speed increases that means i am giving raise command in the speed changer so a comes downwards and the fly ball move outwards and the point b of the linkage mechanism moves downwards so as the speed decreases the speed changer is in the upward movement so at that particular point your fly ball moves inwards and the point b moves upwards so this this operation is done in the uh, fly ball speed governor and third one the hydraulic amplifier so this hydraulic amplifier it comprises a pilot valve upper pilot valve and lower pilot valve so these two valves closes this uh, cylinder opening and here is the main piston so this is a cylinder and here the entrance of the high pressure oil so this pilot valves are called as a low power level pilot valve so this low power level pilot valve movement is converted into high power level piston movement so that it can open the steam valve and more steam can be enter into the turbine then finally linkage mechanism so here a rigid link of a b c which is pivoted at this b point and the link c d e which is pivoted at d this linkage mechanism provides a movement to the control valve in proportion to the change in speed so whatever we are arranging here raise or lower in the speed changer movement based on that the control valve open and close so it also provides the feedback from the steam valve movement working principle so this is a complete uh, structure of the speed governing mechanism so the working principle can be categorized into two cases one is the speed changer in downward movement and speed changer in upward movement speed increases and speed decreases so we'll see the case one first so at case one when load increases the turbine speed decreases so the speed changer gives raise command then the fly ball moves outwards and the point b moves downwards and the point d moves upwards 
and the high pressure oil is entering through this path since the point d moved upward this upper pilot valve moves upwards and make a path here so that the high pressure oil enter in this path and it presses the main piston so the main piston comes down so that it opens the control valve thereby increasing the flow of the steam to the turbine thus the turbine speed increases and maintains the frequency constantly so this is case 1 then second one case 2 so in case 2 when load decreases speed increases so the speed changer gives lower command that is upper direction and the fly ball moves inward direction so that the point B move upward and the point D moves downwards. When the point D moves downwards, the lower pilot valve goes downwards and it makes a path for the oil to flow through this way. So the high pressure oil enters and it flows to, through this way and it pulls the main piston upward and closes the control valve thereby decreasing the flow of steam to the turbine thus the turbine speed decreases and maintains the frequency constantly so these are the two cases in the speed governing mechanism so this is a complete operation if the speed decreases we need to give rise command in the speed changer thereby opening the control valve and more steam will be flowing through the turbine and the speed increases and second one if the speed increases we need to reduce the speed for that we need to provide lower command in the speed changer thereby closing the control valve so the flow of steam through the control valve is reduced and thereby the speed is reduced so this is how load frequency control can be carried out using the speed governing mechanism